I want to set a bookmark that will take me back to um, the same scale and starting place. I'm going to zoom in a little bit till I find a good. Okay, that's too far out. I want to be able to see that more reason, the older, more detailed farm. So that looks like a good scale. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a bookmark. And this way, if I move or zoom way out, I can uh, go back to that. So to edit, I'm going to um, click the editing toolbar to open up the editor tools and choose Start Editing. Um, and I don't know where my... Oh, right here. If yours, usually the editing toolbar opens up on the right. If yours does not, um, you can click on the Create Feature toolbar. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and close the, the catalog right now. And the only thing in my uh, editing layer is the region of interest, and that's because that's the only thing that's um, highlighted. So I'm going to click Land Cover. And now land cover is available. Um, when I click the land cover, I get the option of different tools. So I'm going to start uh, using the polygon tool. And I'm going to zoom in to this corner. And if I look at my snapping toolbar, um, right now, um, this can snap to the edges, so the lines that I make are going to connect to existing lines and vertices. So my snapping is on. And so I'm going to go ahead and start. You can see that kind of jumps over there. Click here. I'm going to click there. I'm going to roll in a little bit so I can get closer to the points on that curve. out. I'm going to use the hand over here to scoot. Uh, and I've got to go back to the polygon tool to make that. Sometimes snapping is a pain because it's wanting to snap to that line. So I had to zoom in pretty far so that it wouldn't snap to that line. And so you can see it gets pretty pixelated when you zoom in that far. I'm going to go ahead and move over down. Just going to call it good here. Go ahead and snap along the property line. If one of my vertices is off, I can right click and delete that vertice, add it in here. And when I'm done, I'm going to double click. And so that uh, has created that one kind of uh, grassy area. I'm going to go up here and go ahead and fill in the attribute. I'll fill in the others later, and I'm going to save that edit. And if I open up Land Cover, you're going to see that that new polygon is in there. All right. So there is an option called Autocomplete. I'm going to go back to Create fixture Features. And with the Autocomplete, I can do this whole uh, agriculture polygon as one. So I'm going to click on the Autocomplete. I have to click Inside an Existing Polygon. And then I'm going to go around this whole 
parcel. Okay, so I'm coming on around the rest of that polygon. And at that point, you can also turn off uh, snapping for a moment. And then put it back on now. And then you're going to click inside the other polygon to complete it. And what that does is it fills in all of those curves. I don't have to do them because they have a shared edge. Um, and so this one is uh, agriculture. And if I know what kind of agriculture, I could fill that in. Editor, save, edit. Um, if I look now, I should have a polygon here and a polygon here and I've got this weird little remnant polygon and where is that? No. Hold on. Oh, I have an overlap there. Okay, so this is agriculture. And one of the things that happened is there was a gap. I look at this, I had this little gap of a polygon that was left. So what I'm going to do is join that. So I'm going to click those two together. You can see that I have both of these polygons selected. And I'm going to merge them into one polygon. So that can take care of those extra little uh, glitches and pieces. So now I have two polygons, one with grass and one with uh, agriculture. But one of the things I did was I covered that pond. So um, I'm going to go ahead right now so you can see the difference. I'm going to uh, map this by categories. Right now I have two categories in my map and I have uh, a grass category and an agriculture category. But what I know is there's a pond under here somewhere. So I'm going to create what's called a donut. So in order to uh, actually look at the donut, I'm going to have to make this hollow so I can see what's under there. And uh, in my create features, I'm going to go back here to polygon. I'm going to go ahead and digitize the outline of the pond area. Double click, I'm going to call that pond. Okay, um, and that's highlighted. If I look at my attribute table, my pond is highlighted, so I can highlight it again. And now that that's highlighted, <clears throat> I can use the clip feature. And I'm going to clip that with no buffer distance. So I want it to, um, I want it to uh, not overlap. I want it to be exact. And I think we want to preserve, the, no, we want to discard the area that it intersects. So I want to get rid of the polygon underneath it. So I'm going to say OK. Um, now, if I go back to my symbols and add all values, I now have pond. So pond can be green, agriculture can be beige, and um, I'm going to zoom to my farm scale. So now I've got uh, three, three layers, and I've got my pond. I'm going to unselect that. I'm going to save my edits. The really nice thing about using auto, complete, and clip is that 
there are no gaps uh, between between my layers. So that's the polygon editing. Um, so with the polygon editing, you really want to plan um, how you're going to edit all of these areas, and then you're going to keep your roads uh, for the line editing.